Okay, today I finished reading gr the Green Lantern uh, arc of Sinestro Corps. Now, I don't read too many DC titles when the few I do read is Green Lantern, and it was primarily because of this I started reading it, because uh, I told it was really good, so I picked up at the very end of it, and I'm reading it right now, and I just picked at the actual Sinestro Corps up. Now, people told me this is this was or is right now one of the best titles in comics right now. I normally don't read DC, uh, including Great Lantern Corps. The only um, titles I read is like the Green Lantern Corps. Um, I picked up uh, Final Crisis, which I think sucks. I tried to pick up uh, Batman, which I have no idea what's going continuity-wise. Uh, so I picked up a new arc, which is usually how I pick up a new comic if I want to pick it up. If there's a big, huge arc, arc going on, um, like right now, Batman uh, R.I.P., I pick up the first couple issues, and I couldn't get into it. I was like, F this. Go away. You know, you're done. Just go. But I, I that was really disappointing, especially with the new Batman movie coming out. You'd think they would want people to pick it up. Because, um, you know, I grew up with Batman cartoons. I grew up with Superman cartoons. I grew up with, so you know, I see Justice League stuff come up and whatever. You know, I grew, you know, grew up with the, the comic book cartoons. I can't get into that, the actual comic book. Which I think is a huge flaw on the DC side. Marvel with the uh, X Men, I could pick them up moderately, even though X Men's got like a million different titles. Um, I could moderately pick them up, and if I was actually into it, I could pick up all the X Men and read them. You know, I like the movies and stuff. I learned I'm not so much an X Men fan as uh, like uh, the Avengers, which once again. I grew up with knowing who the Avengers are. I grew up knowing the Hulk. I grew up knowing Iron Man. I grew up knowing um, Captain America. And I could pick up these comics, read the little intro in the beginning, talk to a little bit of the backstory, and I'm in. I know what's going on. I like what I'm reading. The continuity's all there. I could pick up other titles. Uh, just like extend when I know off of one character. And, you know, because it's the same world. DC has a lot harder time establishing their world. Um, I recently talked to the author of the Brent Clark Rogers Guide to the DC Universe. And he, in his books, because he actually talks about all the characters in the DC Universe, and he's been doing this for, I think he said, uh, uh, 12 years or something like that. I don't know. Maybe it was longer than that, but um, he's doing this for a long time. And he's like, I will not deal with a certain age of the DC world. I cannot deal with a lot of their comics because it's just not the same continuity. He picks up a lot of them. I mean, and he won't read Touch Marvel because he's a DC guy, which I'm more of a Marvel guy, but, you know, each his own. But he says DC, you know, he, he was like, yeah, DC continuity is is hard to grasp. And I don't like DC continuity. I don't like some of their storylines. I was, and I, I don't know. They just have this whole different persona with their heroes, with the way they interact. It's I like Marvel because the inter their interactions a little bit more, a little bit more real. I think I like the the writing a l little bit better. Um, even though it's kind of funny because my favorite. Um, titles right now in the Marvel Universe is Nova and Annihilation, um, or the Conquest, which, which, wait, what came out of that? It's not, it's after Annihilation Conquest, um, Guardians of the Galaxy, Guardians of the Galaxy and Nova, which are both being written by, uh, 
people who just came from the DC who just came from DC. So I don't know if that's the way they're told to ride or what's going on, but I just like have to like Marvel better. And I really tried to get into DC. I want I like the Joker. I want to read something with the Joker, and I want to read something with the Batman. This is the kind of stuff that I love growing up. This is why the Batman movie is going to be so great, because just the story of Batman. Come on. Just the story of Joker, probably the greatest villain. And you don't even have to read anything about him, and you already know his persona. Um, I actually just picked up a couple Joker books. I hopefully, you know, I hope I'll get a real good kick out of them. Um... I started picking up this thing called Joker's Asylum, which has no continuity, no real thing to do with anything. The first one was it. Well, the story itself, the comic book is the Joker just telling stories from the same asylum, from Arkham. First one, he's telling the story by himself. I didn't care too much about it. It was just like the almost got him episode from the old WB Batman anime series episode. It just reminded me of that him on a TV show, and I just kind of pretty much closed the book. It's like I already seen this. I don't want. I don't want to see it no more. Um, the next issue was one shot of a uh, penguin, which Joker was telling a story about the penguin, and the one after Joker was telling a story about uh, poison ivy. I thought these were great. I loved them. Um, I tried to get into you know the Batman villains are great, but who wants to read something in a book that sucks? It's hard. There's very few DC titles that I like. I like Green Lantern. It's, it's even though it does take me a little bit longer to get through it than it would, um, like an Avengers book from Marvel, or even a Runaways book, or Young Avengers, or um, oh, what's the title that not too many people read? Um, yeah, I know. Besides Spider-Man, um, because <laughs> no one's reading that right now. Uh, Miss Marvel. I could get through Miss Marvel. You know. Probably in the lower rated books right now, and I I, I love Miss Marvel. Yeah, I'm not getting into the whole Spider Man thing. <laughs> I don't know if it's low rated or high rated. I'm just gonna not gonna get into it. Uh, maybe that'll be my next rant, or my next rant will be why I love uh, Xenoscope's uh, Grim Fairy Tales World better than I like both of them right now. Toodles.